Every day, we all impact the people around us through our smile, sound of our voice, expressions we use. And most of the time, we don't even notice it. But sometimes, we do it deliberately by sharing our knowledge, opinions, and turning our ideas into action. So an idea born two years ago has made a small step forward in bringing the STEM education and robotics closer to our society and made the following possible. Promotion of STEM education with more than 70 events held all around Bosnia and Herzegovina. An opportunity for more than 5,000 persons to get familiar with different tech topics. An educational trip to Augsburg, Germany, and hands-on experience with real industrial and human aid robots for 40 students and teachers from six cities around Bosnia and Herzegovina. And if you consider more than 150 media articles, TV, radio shows, the indirect impact is immeasurable. I once heard how great ideas often come by doing surprisingly simple things. So that's actually what happened with this one. It was born out of a staring at a blank page. As a person educated in Bosnia and Herzegovina, I'm well aware of the flaws of our education system, mostly in terms of STEM, sub STEM subjects. Lack of practical works, access to the latest technologies, laboratories, make the education in our country monotonous and therefore sometimes even boring. And as a robotics engineer working in one of the most industrial countries in the world, Germany, I'm familiar with the differences between these two countries in terms of industrial development and research. So as every idea comes out of having a problem, the problem of our community of not being up to date with the latest technology was the one I recognized could be solvable, at least partially. So when I became part of Bosnian diaspora four years ago, I had an access to different research centers, laboratories, industrial fairs. And I thought to myself, how great would it be to allow something like this to students from Bosnia and Herzegovina? I was also thinking, how I would be happy if I had that chance while I was studying. So I started to thinking how to combine the knowledge I gained, the position, with the aim of changing something in my country and making, making it better, at least to start making it better. Big changes do not happen overnight, and sometimes the success is even questionable. But important is to start, and start turning our ideas into action. Two years ago, while I was reading a research article on robotics in Europe, I read about the European Robotics Initiative for the very first time. The initiative was conceived by a community with the desire to bring robotics and STEM closer to the public and create the future robotics society. And in that purpose, different events, workshops, presentations were held all around Europe and they were organized by different universities, institutions, companies. And their motivation was pretty clear, since STEM creates um, critical thinkers, future innovators, uh, it prepares better our children for school and their future careers, and it also helps to bridge the gender and ethnic gap often found in math and science field. So after doing some more research, I bumped onto a report of past events held in Europe. And I was pretty surprised when I saw my country listed among all the others. I was pretty surprised because I was thinking at least I should be familiar with the robotics events in my country since I'm a, I'm a, I work as a robotics engineer. But after I opened the interactive map, I faced with a not so unusual picture. Bosnia and Herzegovina, gray zone. No events organized, no data available, nothing. And the blank page I was mentioning before was there. List of events was empty. I first thought it was some kind of a mistake, so I pressed the fresh, refresh button several times, but that didn't help neither. The blank page was still there. And as I said, who would have guessed that a simple blank page can serve as such an inspiration? So, few minutes after, I started thinking, 
Let's start bringing the robotics knowledge to our country. Let's start bringing robotics closer to our society, to everyone, for free. And let's put our country on the map of these European events, and let's fill that page out. So soon after, I wrote the, to EU uh, robotics team in Brussels about my idea, and I explained them how children and youth in our country deserve to be up to date with the latest uh, technological achievements, latest robotics achievements, and how we have great organizations, individuals, companies, who are willing to do something for our public, and so we are ready to become also part of the future robotics society. Soon, we started contacting different schools, organizations, from small cities like Klokotnica, Sokolac, to the bigger ones, like Sarajevo, Zenica, Banja Luka, asking them whether to host or attend an event. The idea and our goal was clear, and education accessible to all was our main motto. So we faced with a great response from them. A lot of great teachers, individuals, were willing to do something. We were ready to organize any kind of events, movie night, seminar, anything that would include as many people as possible and provide knowledge. As we didn't have any budget in the beginning, it was clear that we need to collaborate. An amazing organization has borrowed us the equipment. We sent it from city to city, engaged several volunteers, found sponsors for snacks and drinks, and filled ourselves with a tremendous amount of positive energy, knowing we are making a change, at least a small one. And when we started promoting our events on social networks, a lot of individuals were calling us, writing us, asking the same. How can I be part of this? How can I organize something in my hometown? How can I help? And it was such a pleasure to see how they were getting motivated to go back to their elementary schools, high schools, and use the expertise and knowledge they have to change something, to make a physics class more interesting, to change someone's day. And we did it. In 2017, we have celebrated the European Robotics Week in Bosnia-Herzegovina for the very first time, with more than 40 events held all around Bosnia-Herzegovina. And we became leaders in our region. So EU officers were pretty amazed by our success. We were something like from zero to hero. After that, it was clear that we need to keep doing what we were doing. Our society was reacting positively, and we knew that our uh, initiative success has to be followed up with more events. When I found out that uh, the biggest and central event of the late, last year European Robotics Week will be held in Augsburg, my residence at the moment, I was more than determined to make it possible for our children from Bosnia and Herzegovina to be part of it. The team from Brussels was ready to support the idea and to financially support the trip for five to six children. But that was not enough. And I personally wanted at least to double that number. So after some discussions with the potential participants, calculations, and some brainstorming, we ended up on number 40. So it escalated pre pretty quickly. And it's pretty obvious how that changes the financial situation. So we had to start contacting, again, companies, institutions, and explaining them how this trip is important for students, teachers, and their future STEM education. But not only because of the technical knowledge they'll gain. To travel itself is to learn about the world, to learn about new cultures, to learn about our culture, to connect with people, to spread the horizon. So a lot of companies were reacting really positively and they, they were willing to support us. But I have to mention how the support sometimes comes from the most unexpected places. And even though some of the biggest IT companies in uh, our country were not so willing to support this trip, an amazing nun from a small city nearby 
was more than willing to help us. And there was one of the lessons learned. So next time when you have a robotics project, first go to see Anand. She will be the one among the first that will help you. The focus of the trip was, of course, on robotics and technical knowledge. How many of you had a chance to see a real industrial and humanoid robot or to interact with a humanoid one? Yeah, so I don't see that many hands. Well, luckily for you, in the audience, you can find 15 out of 40 participants of our educational trip. I will just ask them to stand up so you can see them. <laughs> They're amazing kids from Varesh, Kiseljak, Tuzla, Zenica, Sokolac. Please feel free to ask them whatever you want about robotics, automation, Germany, anything. Beside the technical knowledge, the experience meeting, of meeting new cultures was also not neglected. How many of you had a chance to talk with people from the Middle East? People struggling to escape the horror that's been happening in their homelands. People who seem so strange and far to us through all these media articles, but who are so very the same as we are, with same hopes and dreams. Well, they did, too. Besides uh, meeting the German culture, they had a chance to talk with students from Afghanistan, Syria, uh, uh, Syria Iraq, and exchange their opinions, their dreams, hopes, compare cu cultures, compare countries to one another. And that experience was priceless. They say a picture tells more than 1,000 words, so I'll show you a few of them and let you conclude for yourself. They received also the certificate for participation, and they were the only group out of whole Europe who was visiting the event. So only children from Bosnia and Herzegovina had this chance. And we were also visiting the headquarters of one of the most important and the biggest robotics companies in the world, KUKA. We were handshaking with the robot, taking some pictures with the humanoid robots. We were also talking with uh, German students and uh, learning from them how their robotics uh, sections are working. Of course, we played football and did uh, henna with, uh, with our friends from Middle East. We shared some gifts with the humanoid robots. So it was a really great experience and I think the smile on their faces tells it all. Of course, the trip itself was also a great opportunity for teachers to connect to share their knowledge, ideas, struggles, and to compare the work between different schools. Kids showed how the transfer knowledge works in real. 30 of them held different presentations, talks, and managed to share their experience with around 1,000 peers. So now when I look back at this impact, I cannot agree more on how small steps and small changes can make a great impact. And usually when we talk about influence and impact, only big names come to mind, such as Tesla, Opera, Madonna, Jesus. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's not just them. It's also you. You with your ideas, knowledge, and willingness to do something and to change something. No matter how small does it seem in the beginning, and no matter in which field, science, art, politics, it is important to start changing something. Do not underestimate the idea with the goal of achieving influence, affecting how people think and be behave, and thus creating an impact in a community. I'm sure how all of us have an idea how to change something, how to make our community better. Just don't keep it for yourself, because what if your idea can make the impact and be the one worth spreading? Thank you. Thank you.